My name is Neil Malik. I'm from Knack Training, and today's Everyday Office video is about being able to switch between views in your contacts. So in March, I'll be going to Tucson for the IAP Tech 17 conference, and my session is entitled Creating an Outlook Command Center. And what I think when I create a command center in Outlook is that I'm creating something that I can very quickly show what's relevant to me with just a simple button press. So here's how I'll make that work in my contact list. Let's say I go through my contact list and Julia, for example, is a client. I can go to the Categorize drop-down menu here. I can see that I don't really have any categories that have been assigned a client yet. So I'll go to all categories and I'll just make two quick categories. I'll go to new over here on the right. I'll make a category, let's say this color here, called client. And I'll make another one called vendor. And I'll assign a color to that and click OK. So now I have two colored categories, one called client, one called vendor, that I can quickly go through, find Julia, for example, and assign her the category of client. Find Frank, assign him the category of vendor. Find Bruce, assign him the category of vendor. Find Nicole, vendor. Bradley, vendor. Giancarlo, client, 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 vendor. So you can use a lot of different methods for this, but essentially all I'm doing is finding the moment to go through and segment up my contact list. Now you can also do this by creating two separate contact lists, but that can be a little bit clunky sometimes. So now that I've created categorizations, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the View tab up at the top of the screen, and I'm going to create two new views. By going to the Change View drop-down menu, clicking on Manage Views, and then taking this People view that I'm looking at right now and simply duplicating it with a filter. So I click on the People view, click on Copy. I'm going to call this one Clients. Click OK. And all I need to do is add one simple filter. Go to the Filter button, go to More Choices, and say yes, this person has been categorized as a client. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And now what I'm going to do is go to the Clients view, create a copy of that. Click on Copy, call this one Vendors, click on Filter, and instead of the category of Client, I want the category of Vendor. Click OK, click OK, click OK, click OK. And now on the Change View drop-down menu, I have the ability to switch between my people, normal static views, clients, as you can see there, that's everybody I've categorized as being a client, and vendors, that's everybody I've categorized as being a vendor. Now if I take it one step further, I'm going to customize the ribbon with this as well. So I'm going to go to my Home tab, right-click on the ribbon, and choose Customize the ribbon. Now what I'm doing here, as you can see, there is a special home ribbon just for contacts. And what I think is that when I look at the home ribbon, before even I can create a new contact or a new group or any of those things, what I want is a new group. Let's click new group right down here. I've got this new group. I'm going to use the up arrows. Boom, 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 boom. Move it right up top and choose rename and call this one view selector, something like that. And what I'm going to do here is to this group, I'm going to add the view option. So I go to the popular commands drop down menu. I go over here to all commands and I go looking for this option right here for change view and I click add. So what I've done here is taken the home ribbon for contacts, added a group called view selector, and added the option here for change view. 
Click OK. And just like that, all I have to do is hit the drop down menu here for change view, and I can switch between people, clients, and vendors. Just that simple.